good morning all of you in this session i am going to explain about uh, simple problems on riveted joints in yesterday class already we have discussed about uh, failures types of failures in riveted joints and efficiency of the joint now this is the example problem example problem find the efficiency of the following riveted joints single riveted lap joint of 6 mm yep. single riveted first problem is a single riveted lap joint okay lap joint single riveted single riveted n equal to 1 6 mm plates with 20 mm diameter rivets having a pitch of 50 mm this is the question number 1 uh, first case case 1 and this is the another case double riveted lap joint lap joint of 6 mm plates with 20 mm diameter having pitch of 65 mm okay in now these are the required stresses 120 mega pascal for uh, tensile stress so that is uh, sigma t and this one is 90 mega pascal for shear and uh, permissible crushing stress that is sigma c okay these are the given stresses okay now this is a single riveted lap joint okay single riveted lap joint here the pitch p equal to 50 mm for case 1 and 65 mm for case 2 okay this is a double riveted lap joint okay the given data is a uh, 6 mm thick diameter 20 mm and the sigma t tensile stress equal 120 mega pascal that is 120 newton per mm square 1 mega pascal equal to 1 newton per mm square shear stress tau equal to 90 mega pascal and uh, crushing stress sigma c equal to 180 mega pascal that is 180 newton per mm square okay these are the given values okay this one is a case 1 this one is a case 2 problem now for uh, case 1 problem efficiency of the joint for a single riveted lap joint in given question pitch of the rivet the distance between two successive rivets is pitch pitch equal to 50 mm okay and thickness of the plates t equal to 6 mm thickness of the plates equal to 6 mm and the diameter of the rivets diameter of the rivets d equal to 20 mm okay these are given values okay thickness is 6 mm diameter of the rivet d equal to 20 mm and pitch p equal to 50 mm these three are given in question okay now For by using uh, these three values, we have to find out the value of uh, efficiency of the joint. Okay, here already we know the formula for uh, tearing strength, tearing strength or tearing resistance. P T, P T equal to P minus D into T into sigma T. This is the formula for tearing strength. Okay. Uh, p is the pitch, pitch equal to 50 mm and D equal to 20 mm, T equal to 6 mm, sigma T equal to 120 mega pascal. Okay, these all are given values. So the tearing strength is uh, 21,600 newtons. So this is P T, tearing strength or tearing load. Now another 
value is uh, sharing value. So PS is the sharing strength. PS is the sharing strength or sharing resistance of the rivet. PS equal to N into power 4 d square into tau. N into power 4 d square into tau. Here N equal to 1. Okay, N equal to 1 for a single riveted lab joint. Okay. Yeah, this is a single riveted lab joint. So there is only one row. Okay, so n equal one. So here n into power of 4 d square into tau. N equal one. So I am not considering n here. Okay. So this is the value of uh, PS. And also for uh, lab joints, single riveted lab joints, uh, for lab joints, all type of lab joints, uh, you have to consider a single shear. Okay. This is a PS, PS, and this is a PC. Is the crushing strength, crushing strength PC? How do we know the formula? This is a crushing area DT into crushing stress sigma C. D equal to twenty mm, T equal to six mm, and sigma C equal to one eighty mm. 180 mega Pascal, 180 mega Pascal. So 21,600, this value is PC. That is crushing strength. Okay, PT, tearing strength. PS, shearing strength. PC, crushing strength. Okay, these three are the strengths. Okay, strength of the joints. Okay, from these three values, you have to identify the least value for uh, least strength. Okay, here yeah, this value is 21,600. This one value is 28,278. This one is 21,600. From these three values, 21,600 is the least value. Okay, and uh, here this is the formula for efficiency of the joint. Okay, efficiency of the riveted joint, zeta equal to least value of PT, PS and PC divided by P dash. P dash is the P dash is the strength of the unriveted joint or solid strength of a solid plate. Okay. Here this is the formula for strength of a solid plate. P into T into sigma T. Okay. Now 36,000 newtons is the strength of the solid plate or strength of the unriveted joint okay from efficiency formula least value of pt ps and pc divided by p dash okay here from these three values least value is 21600 divided by 36000 okay here the value is 0 0.60 0 0.60 or 60 percent so joint efficiency is 60 percent for single riveted lab joint okay this is the efficiency of the single riveted lab joint in similar way for a second case double riveted double riveted lab joint okay this one is a double riveted zigzag lab joint this one is a double riveted chain lab joint okay both are double riveted lab joints okay Here yeah, you can observe there are two rows. Okay, so n equal to two. Okay, n equal to number of uh, rows. Number of rows equal to two. So n equal to two. And thickness of the plates equal to thickness of the plate t equal to six mm. And diameter of the rivet d equal to 20, 20 mm. Okay, diameter of the rivet D equal to 20 mm. By using these three values, we have to find out the, the percentage of efficiency. Okay. Next, uh, already we know the formula for tearing strength PT equal to P minus D into T into sigma T. Here P equals 65 mm. 
okay p is the distance between two successive rivets that is pitch okay p minus d into t into sigma t the value is 32400 this is pt tearing strength and the second one is a shearing strength number of rivets per pitch into pi by 4 d square into tau okay pi by 4 d square into tau pi by 4 d square is the shearing area and this is shear stress okay here n equal to 2 for number of rows okay here there are two rows okay so n equal to 2 for single riveted lap joint n equal to 1 okay so this is the value of uh, shearing strength p s and the third one is uh, crushing strength p c equal to n into d into t into sigma g here d into t is the crushing area n is the number of rows and sigma c is the crushing stress the value is uh, 43200 that is crushing strength okay so these three are the given these three are the strengths for riveted joints this one is a tearing strength this one is a shearing strength this one is crushing strength and this is a p dash p dash p dash equal to strength of the unriveted or strength of the solid plate p dash is the strength of the solid plate now this is the formula for solid plate t into t into sigma t okay here p is the pitch and t is the thickness sigma t is the tangent stress for uh, plate material okay so this is the value of uh, strength of a unriveted plate 46800 already we know the formula for efficiency efficiency equal to least value of tearing strength shearing strength and crushing strength divided by strength of the unriveted or solid plate p dash okay so here from these three values pt ps and pc values we have to observe least value for least strength here the value is 32400 this one this one is 56000 this one is 43000 so from these three values pt is the least value so Pt equal to 32,400 divided by strength of a solid plate, 46,800. Okay, the efficiency of the double riveted lap joint is 69.2%. Uh, okay, this is the efficiency of the double riveted lap joint. Okay. Now, coming to the another example problem. A double riveted here. Yeah. First, carefully you have to observe type of joint. Double riveted, double riveted. So, double riveted, double cover butt joint, butt joint. Okay, in in plates 20 mm thick, 20 mm thick is made with the 25 mm diameter rivets at 100 mm pitch. 100 mm pitch. The permissible stresses are sigma t, tensile stress equal 120 mega pascal, shear stress equal to 100 mega pascal, crushing stress equal to 150 mega pascal. Find the efficiency of the joint, taking the strength of the rivet in double shear, double shear as twice than that of the single shear. Okay. So, given problem is uh, double riveted, double cover butt joint okay this is a butt joint here we are using two cover plates okay one is a top top cover plate another one is a bottom cover plate okay we are using two cover plates for joining the two plates so here you can observe there are four rows Okay, there are uh, four roots, four rows. So you have to consider half n equal to two for a double riveted joint. 
n equal to 2 n equal to 2 for double riveted double riveted joint and for uh, double cover double cover butt joint you have to consider double shear that one is very important double shear here this is the thickness thickness of a plate 20 mm and this one is the diameter of a rivet 25 mm diameter 100 mm is the pitch okay p p equal 100 mm and this one is sigma t tensile stress shear stress crushing stress okay find the efficiency data you have to find out the value of data okay so these are the given values thickness equal 20 mm diameter equal 25 mm p equal to p equal to 100 mm that is pitch and the sigma t equal to 120 mega pascal 1 mega pascal to 1 newton per mm square tau equal to 100 mega pascal sigma c equal to 150 mega pascal Okay, first of all, let's find the tearing resistance of the plate, shearing resistance, and the crushing resistance of the rivet. Okay. So, here, already we know the formula for uh, tearing strength. Tearing strength, Pt equal to P minus D into T into sigma D. Same formula. Okay, here, pitch P equal to 100 mm, diameter of the rivet equal to 25 mm. Thickness equal 20 mm. Okay. Tensile stress equal 120 mm. These, these values are given in question. So the tearing strength equal to 1 lakh 80,000. Okay. 1 lakh 80,000 is the tearing strength. And the second one is a shearing. Shearing strength. PS. PS equal to. This one is very important. Please uh, listen carefully. Tearing strength. Tearing strength is same. Okay, there is no change. But in shearing strength, you have to observe this is a double cover butt joint. Our given problem is double cover butt joint. Okay, in our question, we are using two cover plates, top and bottom cover plates. So you have to consider double shear. So you have to multiply double area. Okay, you have to consider double area. So here you can observe, this is a double shear, okay, double failure. So, pi by 4 d square is the single shear. So, for a double power plates, you have to consider double. So, you have to multiply with 2 for considering the double shear. 2 into pi by 4 d square is the double shearing, double shearing. And n, n is the number of rivets. Okay, here our uh, problem is a double riveted. So double riveted, n equal to 2. n equal to 2 for uh, double riveted. And this 2 value is for double shear. Okay, tau equal to shear stress. So here the answer is 1,96,375 noodles. Here, this one is uh, tearing strength, this one is shearing strength. In similar way, the crushing strength, number of rivets into resting area D, crushing area D into T into crushing stress, sigma C. This formula also same, the value is uh, 150,000, okay, 150,000 noted. Okay, this uh, Okay, here you can observe from PT, PS, PC values, the least value is 1,50,000. Here you can observe this one is 1,80,000, this one is 1,96,000, this one is 1,50,000. So the least value is PC. Okay, so for determining the efficiency of the joint, you have to use least strength. Okay, that is a 1,50,000. And the strength of the unriveted plate, the strength of the unriveted plate or solid plate is P dash. P dash equal to P into T into sigma T. Okay, P is the pitch, T 
is the thickness and the sigma t is the tangential stress for for plates plate material okay 100 mm pitch 20 mm thickness sigma t equal to 120 mega pascal the answer is 2 lakhs 40000 is the strength of the unriveted unriveted plates okay so from efficiency formula efficiency equal to least value of pt ps pc least value of pt ps pc divided by strength of a unriveted plate okay here the least value is 150000 so pc pc is the least value so 150000 pc value divided by p dash equal 2 lakhs 40000 so the joint efficiency is 62.5 percent okay this is the answer for this problem okay here you have to remember one point for lab joint for all type of lab joints you have to consider single shear single shear and for single cover butt joints for single cover butt joints you have to consider single shear but uh, but uh, double cover butt joints for double cover butt joints you have to consider double shear for this case okay for determining the shearing strength of the plates okay here two this two value indicates double shear double shear for for double cover plates for double cover plates we have to use double shear for remaining lab joints and single cover butt joints we have to use single shear that is one okay one for lab joints and single cover butt joints okay the last problem is a double riveted a double riveted lab joint is made between 15 mm thick plates the rivet diameter and pitch are 25 mm 75 mm respectively if the ultimate stresses are 400 mega pascal in tension 320 mega pascal in shear 640 mega pascal in crushing find the minimum force per pitch which will rupture the joint if the above joint is subjected to a load such that the factor of safety is 4. Find out the actual stresses developed in the plates and the rivets. Okay, this is the question. From this question, you have to find out the actual stresses induced in the rivet and uh, plate materials. Okay, from the given question, first you have to identify the given data. Here, the problem is a double riveted lab joint. For lab joints, you have to consider single shear. For double riveted joints, you have to consider n, n equal to 2. n equal to 2 for a double riveted. Double riveted joints. Double riveted joints, you have to consider n equal to 2. For lab joints, you have to consider single shear. And 15 mm thick, that means thickness T equal to 15 mm. And diameter equal to 25, diameter D equal to 25 mm. And pitch P equal to 75 mm. Okay. Ultimate, ultimate stresses are given. Ultimate or maximum stresses. Ultimate or maximum stresses are given. So, ultimate stress per tension. That means tensile stress. Ultimate tensile stress. Sigma ut, sigma ut, and 320 mega pascal ultimate shear, and 640 mega pascal ultimate crushing stress. Okay. Find the minimum force per pitch. That means you have to identify the least value of tearing strength, tearing strength, shearing strength, and crushing strength. So these are the given values. So thickness 
15 mm and diameter diameter equal 25 mm and pitch value equal 75 mm ultimate tensile stress equal 400 megapascal ultimate or maximum okay these are not uh, permissible stresses we have to find out the permissible stresses these are ultimate stresses okay so ultimate tensile stress sigma t u equal to 400 megapascal tau u ultimate shear stress tau u equal to 320 megapascal and ultimate crushing stress that is uh, sigma c u equal to 640 megapascal okay and here the factor of safety is given that is fs equal to 4 here already we know the formula for uh, tearing strength tearing strength equal p minus d into t into sigma t okay but these are the ultimate tearing strengths so you have to use ultimate tensile stress for ultimate tearing strength okay p t u is the ultimate tearing strength p minus d into t into sigma t u already p value equal 75 mm d equal 25 mm thickness equal 15 mm sigma t u ultimate tensile stress equal to 400 megapascal these values are given in question so substitute all these values here the ultimate uh, tensile ultimate tensile strength ultimate tensile strength equal to 3 lakhs pt is the tensile strength or tearing strength but this one is uh, ultimate okay and the second one is the shearing strength ultimate shearing strength equal to number of rivets into power of d square is the area of the rivet cross section area of the rivet this one is ultimate shear stress here n equal to 2 for double riveted joint double riveted here double riveted joint is given so n equal to 2 for double riveted joint okay power 4 d square d equal to 25 mm and tau u ultimate shear stress equal to 320 mega pascal okay so the ultimate shearing strength equal to ps ps u equal to 3 lakhs 14200 okay this is the ultimate shearing strength ps u okay n equal to 2 for double riveting okay now the final value for uh, crushing ultimate crushing strength pcu pcu pc is the crushing strength u is the ultimate ultimate crushing strength pcu equal to number of rivets into diameter of the rivet into thickness of the rivet d into t is the crushing area n is the number of rivets sigma cu is the ultimate crushing strength or ultimate crushing stress n equal to and 25 diameter 15 mm thick 640 is the ultimate crushing stress the value is uh, 4 lakhs 80 thousand is the crushing ultimate crushing strength pcu is the ultimate crushing strength okay so here from these three values you have to identify the safe load or minimum load or least load least value least value of ptu psu pcu is three lakhs here you can observe this one is three lakhs this one is three lakhs fourteen thousand this one is a four forty eight four lakhs eighty thousand Okay, from these three values, three lakhs is the least value. So this is the a minimum force per pitch. Okay. So this is the minimum force per pitch. Now, now factor of safety is given. So for determining the safe stresses, safe stresses are permissible stresses. We have to use a factor of safety for determining the safe stresses. Okay, the factor of safety is four. From given data, factor of safety is four. Therefore, the safe load per pitch length of the joint equal to 
So minimum load divided by track of safety. So three lakhs is the least value of tearing strength, shearing strength, and crushing strength. Okay. So three lakhs is the least uh, least strength divided by factor of safety equal to seventy five thousand newtons is the minimum minimum or a safe load. Okay. By using uh, this safe load, we have to determine permissible tearing, shearing, and crushing stresses. Okay. So. Already we know the formula for tearing stress. Sorry, tearing strength Pt. Tearing strength Pt. Pt is the safe load. Pt equals seventy-five thousand. Pt equal P minus D into T into sigma T. Okay. So here P value is seventy-five mm. D equal twenty-five mm. T equal to fifteen mm. Sigma T A is the permissible stress, permissible tensile stress. You have to find out this value, and the value of P T equals seventy five thousand. So substitute all those values. Now you have to find out the value of permissible tensile stress P T A. Okay, P T A equals seventy five thousand divided by seven fifty equal to hundred mega pascal is the safe tensile stress Sigma T. Safe tensile stress. In a similar way, shearing st shearing strength PS PS equal to number of rivets into pi over d square into shear stress. Okay, so already we know that our given problem is a double riveted double riveted joint. So n equal to n equal to for double riveted joint pi over d square is the area. So is the shear stress. Okay, substitute P S equal to seventy five thousand. Okay, n equal to two d equal to seventy d equal twenty five mm. So equal to answer so equal to shear stress equal to seventy five thousand divided by nine hundred eighty two. That is equal to seventy six point four mega pascal is the shear stress. Okay, permissible or a safe shear stress. Now, this is the crushing strength PC. Crushing strength PC equal to n into d into t into sigma CA. N is the number of rivets. D into t is the area crushing area. Sigma C is the crushing stress. Okay. So from this uh, formula, we have to find out the value of crushing stress sigma C. Sigma C equal to hundred mega pascal. Okay, hundred mega pascal, one mega pascal to one newton per mm square. Okay, these three are the safe or permissible stresses. Okay, here you can have the seventy-five thousand is the safe load. So I consider PT, PS, PC equal to seventy-five thousand. Okay, for determining the safe stresses. Okay. Okay. In next class, I will explain about uh, design of pressure vessels. How to design pressure vessels for uh, riveted joints? Okay.